Hi, Yvonne Musa here with ATG USA to take you back to the basic, the array command. When you enter the array command, the ribbon responds with the contextual ribbon, displaying the commands readily available. The array command creates copies of objects. We have three types of arrays, rectangular, path, and polar, and they are associative. That is, it allows us to make changes easily make copies, and change the configuration to something very different from the original. You can access the command in the ribbon, Modify Panel, Array, the drop-down arrow, and select Rectangular Path of Polar, or type AR for Array, enter, and select a type from the command line. Let's see it in play. On the ribbon, Modify Panel, Array, the drop-down arrow, and select Rectangular Array. The Rectangular Array creates rows, columns, and levels, the Z value. I will select the block Theater Chair. By default, it starts with four columns and three rows at level one. Look at the contextual ribbon. I see that I have four columns. The space between the chairs is from the block's insertion point, which is the base point, and the total amount is the sum of the four chairs. The same is displayed for the rows. Click on the base point moves all. Click on the arrow closest to the base point for the row or column increases the space between the chairs. Click on the arrow furthest away from the base point for the row or columns increases the number of rows or columns. Click on the point opposite the base point and it will increase or decrease both rows and columns at the same time. You can do the same mathematically. Enter the number of rows, columns, and between spaces. The path array distributes copy of the selected object along the path or portion of the path. For this example, let's look at the parking lot. On the ribbon, modify panel array, the drop down arrow, and select path array, or type AR for array, and type PA for the path. I will select a car with a dotted line denoting the parking stall of 9 feet by 18 feet. I am prompt to select the path. I will select the magenta line. Note the path can be a line, polyline, and or spline, straight or curve. By default, we start with three parking stalls. Click on the arrow, snap to the first parking stall dotted line, and hit escape to end the command. Done. The polar array evenly distributes copies of the object in a circular pattern around the center point or axis of rotation. For this example, let's look at the conference chair and the table. The table will be the axis of rotation. On the ribbon, modify panel, array, the drop down arrow, select polar array or type AR for array and PO for polar. Select the chair and then select the center point of the table. It will default to six chairs about the table. I will enter 12 for 12 chairs. Done. Let's do one more thing. Let's change the theater chair to another object. Click on the theater chairs and on the conceptual ribbon, select replace item. I will select a circle for the replacement objects and right click to select the center of the circle for the key point. In the command line, type S for source object, enter. Now there are circles. The command line is still active. I will type L for levels and type 50, enter. I will hit escape to end the command and again to let go of the array circles. I will go up to my view control and change the top for SW for Southwest Isometric View. Zoom in, and now my circle has a Z value. I will click on the circle array to display the manual control arrows and move them and see what happens. Can you see the many ways the array command can help? I do. 
By the way, if you do like the dialog box for the Array command, type Array Classic. OK, it's your turn. Explore and see what works for you. Thank you. From all of us at ATG USA.